DICE has taken the Battlefield series and pushed forward towards bigger levels, more vehicles, more emergent spectacle. Battlefield 4 is the culmination of this cycle. It's the fourth game in three years, and it still captures most of the crazy unpredictability and potential that Battlefield has always been known for. It just hits more bumps along the way. DICE's latest features a campaign that drips production values, even as it grabs you by the collar and drags you through some very familiar motions. Battlefield 4 has the components for a good story-driven shooter campaign. Guns roar as concrete flies off of barriers and columns, but then you shoot at something. You'll excuse my expectations that a gun that laid waste to a concrete pillar might make short work of a human being, but in Battlefield 4 you'll be reloading often as you unload magazine after magazine into AI opponents. And the campaign is also full of extended, boring firefights. This contradicts a story otherwise determined to throw you forward or down or out of something. It's a jumbled, minimally coherent collection of stupid guided shooter cliches. And it's a depressing collection of all the things critics say are wrong with the genre. In this case, those critics would be correct. It falls again on Battlefield's multiplayer to carry it forward, and in that respect at least, Battlefield 4 finds a lot more success. It takes the casual destruction from Battlefield Bad Company 2, and it takes the vehicle-oriented size and player counts of Battlefield 3, and then it weaves those games together with some subtly improved mechanics. The game requires a constant awareness of more angles and possibilities and dangers and options than most of the competition combined. There's never only one solution to a problem, and this is where the game excels. It's a shooter that engenders more than this primal satisfaction of success. It's not just clever, it's smart. Battlefield 4 is singular in its combination of the elements that enables players to feel that way, to constantly orchestrate exciting moments. Moments like these are what Battlefield as a series has worked toward for more than a decade. And when they come, they're better realized than they've ever been. Battlefield 4 also manages to take some small lessons from other faster shooters. A domination match on Operation Locker may have been the most fun I've ever had with a Battlefield game. Each team smashed against each other head on, or flanked from above, or below, or the sides. And it emphasized shooting that's never worked as well in the series as it does here. DICE's relentlessly advertised Levolution adds a sense of unpredictability and shifting considerations. Blizzards kick up, making it difficult to spot enemies while moving, and frosting red dot sites. Heated matches of conquest get interrupted by intense hurricanes. The complete destruction of large sections of levels adds new tactical considerations to maps. But the shift in terrain made some maps less fun to play. Flood Zone was awful when its streets flooded. I spent more time swimming there than I did shooting. Battlefield has always had maps that favor playstyles that feel a little alien to the series' conceit of creative play and improvisation, but now some maps shift from one extreme to the other over the course of play. It's fun to watch at first, but it becomes frustrating in practice. This is joined by a problem that plagued Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3 alike. Every map supports every game type, but not every map works for every game type. The massive open spaces that work for Conquest flounder in obliteration mode, and matches quickly turn lopsided and frustrating. One obliteration match on Operation Locker ended in a grueling 42 minute stalemate, and rush mode often forces boring, funneled map configurations that bleed the versatility and variability of attack from Battlefield 4. It's frustrating to see DICE ignore the problems that it's introduced over so many competing visions of what Battlefield is. But there's more of everything that Battlefield has done right in Battlefield 4 than any game the series has seen in years, even if some of those things fit together with a rough edge. 